Mr. Patterson. Just where did you get this? We stole it from the Hirschfield Museum. We thought you might like it back. company felt that your security measures here at the museum were way under par. That's why we were able to... You certainly proved their point. Mr. Patterson has that owl insured for $500,000, and the insurance company won't continue the risk unless they're satisfied that it's safe here. It's not the money, Gordon, but I went through a lot of trouble to get that bird out of China. I appreciate your position as the lender, Mr. Patterson, 
And the museum certainly doesn't want you to withdraw its rarest specimen of Ming Dynasty jade carving. There's no need to. Sam, show them our burglar alarm system. This is a low-intensity radioactive material. The radiation it gives off is harmless, and it's short-ranged. It's less than 20 feet. But it's strong enough to be picked up by this gadget. Works on the same principle as a Geiger counter. And this will remain activated as long as the owl stays within range. If the owl is moved out of range, the receiver stops reacting, and the alarm will be triggered. Honey? That's how it works. Well, that's very clever, Sam. Thanks. We'll also want to drill a hole in the wall. A hole? What for? Only a small hole. We want to set up a 16 millimeter camera and focus it on the display case. That way we can record all the visitors that come to see the owl. And check out all the suspicious ones. But what do you say, Mr. Gordon? Well, if it satisfies Westwood Insurance and you, Mr. Patterson, I am most willing to cooperate. Oh, I'm convinced, indeed. Mr. Gordon, you have just been burglar-proofed. Miss West. I feel I owe you something. We got the job, that's all we want. No, I meant personally. The kind of thing that can only be satisfied by uh, wine and candlelight. Say tomorrow evening. Well, that's very sweet of you. I know I'm free. I think Sam is. I know I am. Mr. Patterson? What is it, Doc? I will tolerate no more delays. The Ming Owl must be delivered within 48 hours. You'll have it? You gave us that assurance last time. The last time I wasn't handed the Owl on a somewhat hot golden platter. By Miss Honey West. That's the guy. Name's Mortimer, exporter importer from Hong Kong. I tailed him to the Gotham Hotel. He came back later, took more pictures. What do you think? I think the insurance company would like to know more about him. So would I. And Baby makes three. I think I'll run over to the Gotham and Mortimer sit tonight. Have fun. I'll be thinking about you. You still insist on dating Patterson tonight, huh? Insist? I'm looking forward to a lovely evening, Guy. Well, it's still early. We could have a nightcap at my place. We disturb Frog. No, Tog. <sighs> Nothing disturbs him. He disturbs me. Besides, we might make the dogs restless. I'm selling the dogs. Why? I'm moving to Hong Kong shortly. Well, that's a long way to go for a fortune cookie. <clears throat> But I'll always remember you. Your eyes shine like the lights of Hong Kong at night. It's been a lovely tour of the Orient, Guy. Good morning, Sam. Where is she, Aunt May? She's still asleep. Wake up, honey. Come on, honey, wake up. Oh, Sam, go away. We've got headaches. Mm, what do you mean, we? I only had one martini. Mortimer gave me the slip last night. Is that serious? What do you think? Wow. You called? The base is hot. You mean it's radioactive? Sure. And absorbed enough radiation from the putty to keep this receiver operating. It's simple. Yes, aren't we? All right, I should have figured it. Well, if the thief had taken the base, too, the alarm would have worked. Yeah. If I hadn't listened to your harebrained scheme, the Ming Ao would still be here. Hello, Mr. Gordon. Burglar-proof. Bah, look, look at that. Extreme natural oversight. 
A half million dollar oversight. Mr. Gordon, I promise you, we'll bring that owl back to roost. I give up. What are they? Miniature radiation detectors. I left some of that radioactive putty on the table over there. Take this and go on over. Right, Dick Tracy, is the game over? Now, don't you see that Ming Al is hot? Even if the thief decides to get rid of the putty, it'll still stay hot for at least 24 hours. Can you turn it off? No. You're a genius. All we have to do now is get near enough to locate it. That's right. The Gotham Hotel's the first stop, Mortimer's room. found the discarded putty in Mortimer's briefcase. And the owl? No luck. I've been doing some snooping, too. And? Mr. Patterson is broke, Sam. You're kidding. No. The bank is repossessing his estate. And he's up to his ears in gambling debts. Well, there's something strange about the whole thing. That's not all. He's a Harvard physics man. So what? So out guessing your radioactive gadget might be easy for him. Yeah. Well, Mortimer and Patterson might be in this thing together. I'll keep snooping. You stay put till I call back. Right, Sam. Snoopers sometimes get shot. calling you because today I feel I owe you something. I don't believe it. The owl, I mean. If only there was some way I could make it up to you personally. Girl, you're in the wrong profession. Dinner at your place? Tonight? Well, all right. I'll see you at eight then. Bye. No point in asking you what you're up to. Gotta get dressed. Why bother? I wonder what perfume would appeal to Guy Patterson. Mm. What a lovely perfume. How sweet of you to notice. <laughs> May I get something for you? Something cool and bubbly might be cooling. The portrait is of my mother. She's lovely. I've always imagined that she was frowning at me. Until tonight. Oh, my 
my silly alarm watch. Sometimes I forget to unset it. If I'm anything, Mr. Patterson, I'm a very punctual girl. Excuse me, sir. Yes, what is it? Mr. Tog is ready to leave with the dogs for the boat. He says it is important to speak with you. Yeah, well, tell him I'll be right there. Now, don't you move till I get back. I don't want you to shake any of that moonlight out of your hair. <laughs> so we must hurry. She left here about an hour and a half ago. I told her to stay put. Now she's really got herself in it. Gotham Hotel, let me speak to George Mortimer. will be most pleased. And pay accordingly, I presume. Now, I'll be pleased with my cut. As specified, all yours. Well, this and the insurance will get the syndicate's collectors off my back anyway. become unmanageable, Miss West. I use this special weapon to tranquilize them. A few hours rest, I am sure, would be most beneficial for you as well.
Sam, can you read me? Sam, come in. Sam, I'm in trouble on our phone somewhere. Sam? was the United States Customs agent. If you'd stayed put like I told you, I found his credentials in the briefcase. Did you know about Patterson all along? For some time, yes. And that's how he got the putty. He picked it up when Patterson got rid of it. Uh, however, I wasn't after Patterson. It was a Mr. X who made a specialty of smuggling stolen goods in and out of the country. Tog. How did you find me? Patterson, he didn't like the idea you'd be kidnapped. Neither did I. And by the way, whatever happened to Tog? <laughs> I think dogs go to the dogs.
lobby meeting. Sam, our client's on his way. No problems. <laughs> Sam, notify the police. Our client's dead. Partner, 
You're as responsible as she is. And right now, your license is skating on thin ice. Now, wait a minute, Lieutenant. We told you the whole story. Lucas came to us as a client. 100 down, 200 on completion of the job. $300 to pick up a salesman's sample case? It happens every day, Lieutenant. Competitors trying to steal each other's ideas. The highway patrol and a couple of witnesses report they saw you leave the scene of the accident. Well, it was no accident. It was murder. Oh, when your father had the agency, I never had any trouble. I know. He always used to say how cooperative you were, too. I don't suppose you could identify the killer. He was wearing a hat and dark glasses. The car? The late model, black sedan, license number BGO999. This might get you off the hook for a while. But I don't buy all of it. Remember that. Mr. Lucas said he was working out of the Comfort Novelty Company. I picked up a sample case. He was supposed to be on his way to the novelty show in San Diego. I saw he was being followed and I tried to intervene. But where's the sample case? The scene of the crime. It wouldn't be in the back end of your car, I don't suppose. Listen, Lieutenant, Honey would not withhold any evidence. Shall we talk about the last case you two were on? I'm glad you brought that up. Because that rings that happened to be in her... I'll give the lieutenant a drink. What? He's on duty. Make one for both of you. Warm milk. Your adrenaline's up. So will yours be if you're withholding evidence. Hey, you won't mind if I check your car before I leave. Lieutenant Stone, why don't you borrow it for the evening? Well, it's not my speed. Oh, come on now. Beneath that cloak. I know. Lies the heart of stone. Just drop the keys in the mail chute. <laughs> All right. What did you do with the sample case? Sam, I'm your partner. Don't bait the hook, honey. I give you my word, Sam. I did not take that sample case. What did you take? You and your souvenirs. The last thing Mr. Lucas said before he died was the snowman, the snowman. You're playing tag with a jail cell for both of us. This is evidence. The lieutenant's going to... I didn't lie, Sam. He only asked me if I took the case. Now, oh, there's feminine logic. That Meg, he oh, thinks probably I'm with perfect. good reason. Honey, I'm telling you, the lieutenant... And the neighbor. I'm sorry, Even Meg. Even Bruce is upset. So what? I'm going to ask you again. Now, why did you take it? He was our client. It's the only lead we've got. They'll take away our license. Sam, I cooperated. Black sedan, license number BGO 999. Oh, boy, I'm soft. I listen to you all the time. We get in trouble. If you listen to me, we stay out of trouble. You tell him to get off his male ego. He was just a junior partner when my father was around. I'll tell him. Sam? Sam? Yeah? She says she's sorry. I accept her apology. I said no such thing. You should have. You tell her this is absolutely the last time. I've had it! He says you can count on him. He understands. I'll bet. Thanks. Okay. Okay. That's par for the course. Yes, Mr. Bolt. You tell her for me. No, no, I'll tell her. There is no novelty show in San Diego. The murder car was a stolen car. And if my partner would keep her hands off of murder evidence, we could stay out of trouble! I can't hear you! Well, she's had a hard day. You saw her stockings. Yeah. And what are you knitting for, a straight jacket? For me, earmuffs. You'd make a nice couple. Why don't you get married? Then you can fight... Legally! That's the only way to do things, legally. Sam, you look very handsome today. You don't do them like... Yeah, I do. It's a certain quality. Elusive, but it's there. Oh, boy. Women. Where to? Comfort Novelty Company. 
I'll be with you in a minute, miss. Oh, there's no hurry. <laughs> That's a very big cellar, sir. Beautifully made. Fathers have trouble breaking them, you know? I'll take three dozen. Very good, three dozen. Say, do you have any new monster masks? As a matter of fact, we have a lovely new line. The gruesome twosome, male and female. This is the female. Looks more like my wife. <laughs> well, wait till you see the male. I can't wait. Over here. Huh? I think they make a nice couple. That's a very old, well-known item. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, we haven't carried these since I've been with the showroom. Well, perhaps I could speak to the manager? Well, as a matter of fact, I am the manager. Really? Yes, that's right. My name is Mr. Reedy Comfort. How do you do? How do you do? But we're just a merchandise march, you know, with uh, items on consignment. But uh, I could check my catalog and see who makes these, maybe. I'll keep this. Oh, all right. Uh, it's a funny thing how everything comes back into style. You know, when I was a boy, I can remember those uh, snowman paperweights were very popular indeed. Well, this one belonged to Mr. Lucas. Oh, that was a terrible thing. Just a terrible thing. You know, the police were here asking questions. He was a customer of ours. I was doing some work for him. Well, you really... Isn't that a coincidence? You were working for him as a customer of ours. Yes. What? Well, do you know what the police think? It was murder. Well, of course, I, uh, I only knew Mr. Lucas slightly. He worked as an independent, you know, bought and sold on his own. I never uh, found him very reliable. And there is no listing whatsoever. It must be an imported item. Well, if you do get any information, I'll show my appreciation. Well, I shall certainly try. <laughs> You're a private investigator. And you're so very pretty, too. Mr. Comfort. That's exactly what you are, a comfort. without your glasses. The snowman. Guns at the back of my head. Always surprises. I was surprised, too. And now you got me lifting things. The chauffeur has a Swiss passport and driver's license. And an employer. I'll check into that. Oh, boy, this new purse is just ruined. Is that all you have to worry about? There's white stuff all over the inside. Did you have to use evidence as a weapon? Where were you? I was waltzing with the chauffeur. What's the number? 6C40894. Code? Your lipstick smeared. Oh, really? Could it be a code? That's all we need a nest full of spies. Well, it's possible, Sam. There were 10 paperweights. Put it all together, they could make a complete coded message. What's the matter? I don't know. My lip feels funny. Feels numb like a shot of Novocaine. A snowman. Snow. Numb, that's how you recognize it. It's cocaine. Narcotics ring. And 
Meg. Where is she? Honey's on her way down. He just caught me. I was leaving, too. Okay. Well, well. Do you not think I am gorgeous, Sherry? I still think we should call the police in. That's what I think. After washing all the evidence down the drain? We're still guessing, honey. I think it all adds up. Mr. Comfort said he thought the paperweights were imported. The chauffeur and his employer, Count... Uh, oh, Pesco, you better remember that. Count Pesco, they just arrived in this country. Come on, the Count comes here every year to throw a charity ball. Maybe he throws snowballs as well. That's the office phone. Well, cut in. <laughs> what did you think I was going to do, let it ring? Honey, Weston Company. Just a minute. For you. Hello. Miss West. Look, you've got to come over here quick. They saw you here today. I don't know what this is all about, but they want that paperweight. They said they'd pay you for it. You've got to give it back to them, Miss West. They said they'd kill me. I don't worry, Mr. Comfort. Please, Miss West, I, I... Bruce is I, better than any watchdog, and if you hear a key in the lock, it's just Aunt May. I beg of you. Look, you just sit tight here with Bruce. We have to go to a masquerade. Miss West, I Take prefer care, not to stay. Look, Miss West, Miss West. Miss West! <laughs> So far. I'm going upstairs to find that sample case. Oh, no, you're not. You let the police do it. Come on. Waiters are so ill-mannered these days. Career women.
Sam. I just found the goodies. About a million dollars worth. The room's over the terrace. Miss West, I hope you brought it with you. Well, wouldn't I be foolish? I haven't been paid. <laughs> Rest assured, we will take care of you. That's a relief. If you would just step into the elevator, please. If I'd known there was a secret elevator, I wouldn't have climbed the lattice. Comme vous êtes charmante. Merci. Too. Shall we go back in? So you're the snowman. Well, that's a jolly title. I never thought of it that way. Just put that sample case down now. And the gun on top. You know, you had me very worried. I gave you a chance, Miss West. Now it's too late. It's worth $100,000. Where is it? You'll never believe me. Yes, I will. I'll believe you. Down the kitchen sink. Oh, that is unfortunate. Get it over with. It's been very difficult, Miss West. First Mr. Lucas trying to hijack, and then you. Oh, I'm so sorry. Now I'm afraid we'll have to get on with it. You see, we make our annual distribution at this charity ball. Party favors to special guests. You know, that's a very cute idea. Old-fashioned paperweights full of snow. It's nostalgic. <laughs> oh. I really hate to do this. The party's over. <laughs> Sam, did you call the police? I did not. Somebody stole my truck. What happened to your eye? I don't know. What's the matter with it? Nothing. Lieutenant Stone, please. I do like you in glasses, though. Lieutenant? This is Honey West. I'm gonna make you so happy. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh. It was snow. How do you feel, Sam? Like a guy with a black eye. Something gives you character. Ow! Honey, what happened to Bruce's steak? Sorry, Sam. Hey! Who's more important around here, me or that ocelot? Sam, you're both wild. <laughs> <laughs> 